Is Magic City that dope or no? Yeah, Magic Magic's legendary, man. I was in there last night. Really? Yeah. Man, me and Thug used to do songs, and like as soon as we get done doing it, like this is when we still had CDs. Like, I'll burn a CD on the computer, and we'll go to the club, take it to DJ, like, yo, let's go hear this that's shit, so see lit. what's going on. Oh, my God. Well, you that's know how saying? you know if it's a fucking banger. You how other me? way can you test a track than exactly. that? Exactly. And like, you just watch the strippers' reactions? Yeah, watch everybody's reaction. You know, vibe out, throw some money, get everybody hype. That's and it's so like, cool. okay. You feel me? Damn, what a job. that's dope. <laughs> so innocent, so pure. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, focus groups, baby. Focus group. Hey, who do I take it to to see if it's going to pop? But he did influence a little bit. I wish, I mean, I know why they're doing it. You know what I'm saying? Let's influence the crowd, throw some money. But I want to hear the raw perspective of the car without you all the other <laughs> exciting elements going on. See, you know what I'm see, saying? I get what you're saying, though. You <laughs> want the uninfluenced... Yeah, I want the strippers Wrong. standing there with their arms folded, Uncut. looking at Metro and Young Thug bobbing their head and be like, I don't know if I fuck that bass line on the second chorus, bro. That's what I want, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but man. <laughs> Hey, see, in that but, case, you need to catch them after hours when it's not going to affect the rest of their business. Yeah, but but it's funny because now with the money involved, it feels like it's, it's no different than like a test ad. You know what I'm saying? It's like you are an artist and you're like, hey, I got five hundred dollars to spend to see if this particular demographic of people like my music before I scale it. Mm -hmm. This is that, bro. Hey, I'm gonna go to this environment where I think that this demographic of people will like this. I'm gonna drop twenty bands on my test, my test. And if it hit, hey man, we going to the label for a couple of M's. If it don't hit, hey man, back to the lab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hitting. Now, artists, managers, and the like. Who do y'all touch y'all's music with? Yeah. That's a question. Put that in the comments. Yeah, I love to know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, exactly. I will 100% would love to know, and I think other people would love to know. Or if you admittedly don't have anybody you test it with, but you like the idea of it, put that in the comments as well. But I have always done that when especially come to R&B artists, I'd ask my wife. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I'll ask my sister or like especially Afrobeat. She fuck with Afrobeats heavy like she, for a long time before it was as big of a trend now. So I'll play stuff and see. And so I think like when we were working with uh, Twitch, just put that shit on, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And yeah. then see what happened, <laughs> you know? Oh, she said something. She want to know who that is. Ah, okay, okay. This shit yeah. hard. This shit yeah. hard. She got me some call points. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't say nothing, yeah. Yeah, you know, they go about their business, then this might not be it. It, it ain't horrible, though, because, hey, I didn't have quite a few. Turn that shit off or turn that <laughs> shit down. Put your headphones on. <laughs> Bro, this heathen is messing our home. <laughs> Let me take a quick second to say, if you're an artist trying to blow your music up, or if you're a manager, a music professional in general, trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you, and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. But I, you brought up a good point, too, though. Like, you got to make sure that the people you're testing them with are typically that demographic. Because I do think mm -hmm. a lot of artists made the mistake of trying to get people that don't like their type of music to judge their music. Right? It's, it's the biggest reason of why I don't like, like artists standing on like the street trying to get people to listen to their music. It's like, bro, I'm just walking by. You don't know what I listen to, bro. You right. over here trying to get me to listen to your indie folk cover. Mm -hmm. I don't even fuck with that, bro. You wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? If that was an ad, that'd be a wasted dollar right there. You know what I'm saying? Just trying yeah. to convert me. Because yeah. I do the same thing with campaigns. Like, whenever we get a client and, you know, we have the song, I try to think, like, who do I know in real life that I think would like this? And then I do the same thing. And let me see if I can get around them and just play it real quick and not say nothing and see what they say. Or, like, or sometimes yep. I hit them like, hey, bro, what you think about this? You know what I'm saying? Um because, I mean, one, you'll learn if you're right or not. And then, <laughs> two, you know, 
regular people don't have the same reservations about music and the music industry as we do. So they tend not to overthink it as hard as like we do. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. You know, so they can be great sources of opinion because like, yo, this is your target demographic. Ideally, like, you know, listen to what they have to say. And then three, sometimes they give you ideas that you never thought of going back to that. You know, sometimes as people in music, like you overthink it. Oh, bro, this would be crazy if y'all like got this one meme page that posts like horse memes to do it. You're like, what, bro? Like, what are you getting at? Does, I had a friend say that once, bro. He scrolled and it was like a horse page posting horses with like mute rap music in the background. I was like, bro, how yeah. did you find this shit? Like, why do you know about this? You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> they give you ideas. I'm pretty sure people came up to them in strip club like, man, this shit would be crazy. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And they probably was like, oh shit, you're right. They would go crazy over there. You know what I'm saying? Let's, yeah. let's, let's take it there. Figure out how we can get it over there once it's out. So yeah, like if you are an artist that feels like you don't have that focus group um like try to think about people in your real life co-workers schoolmates family members people you might not even like that much that you've seen listening to that type of music or your style of music before or you know them well enough to know they like that type of stuff yep and then hit them and be like hey bro like you know what i'm saying what you think like you fucking with it yeah or nay? you know what i'm saying what we doing yeah or nay? <laughs> yeah or nay? and i like that you mentioned those artists who are out on the street yeah. selling. Yeah. Now, it's one thing if you like really are targeting it. You know what I mean? Like a lot of the uh, street artists, different term, right? Not artists on the street, but like street yeah. music. They typically are doing it with the right artists, especially back in the day. You don't even see them doing as much. Yeah, because right? they'll pick their battle, bro. They'll be right. outside like a club they let out or like exactly. a, an event that exactly. made sense. They pick their right. battle smart. But then you know people saying? going outside <laughs> of a football game or yeah. just some random you know, park in the city, you can convince people to give you money, right? Mm -hmm. And appreciate your talent. It's just not something that translates to people who actually might like your music. Some of those people might, some some of those people might not, right? It'll be like families. Oh yeah, you're a really great singer, right? But everybody in, the, in that family environment might not necessarily like your music or mm -hmm. you just putting your talent out there has nothing to do with the sound that you um, present your, your music in because you're just doing some kind of random cover. So it's like, be mindful or just know the, your, the objective. Because if you're just out here to make money, cool. Yeah. If you're just out here to capture some footage of you doing this and yeah. hopefully make some money or whatever while yeah. you're down here, cool. Just don't expect it to be something to generate fans in a real way. Yeah, bro. Because I think what artists have to realize is that people don't like hurting other people's feelings like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Most so, people don't. Most people are okay people. Yeah, exactly, bro. Especially they don't know you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know you. I don't have no reason to be yeah. rude to you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't did nothing to me. And so I also don't know what you might do because I don't know you. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, that's a great point. <laughs> but it's like they'll give you these answers sometimes that just, bro, you know they lying, bro. Like I've seen like rap homies doing it and it'll be like some like older white guy. And I'm like, what'd you think about this? And he's like, oh, yeah, this is. This is dope, man. This is hard. I'm like, bro, look at him lying, bro. Just lying like fuck. You don't look. You don't listen. Name three rappers right now. <laughs> oh, I like um that Jay Z guy's cool. It's like, all right, man, get him out of here, bro. I'm saying it's a waste of time. Get me out of here. So that's my biggest qualm with it. Like, yeah. you no, know, it's just like, hey, man, just pick your battles for it, Wazir. Well, I'm saying pick man. pick the right focus group. <laughs> you, you gotta pick the right focus group, but having a focus group is valuable. Now, next topic. 